everybody. This is Jonathan, and welcome to the Lynn Life. Now, today, I'm with my son, Justin, who's shooting right now, and we're on our way to the Spring Ahead Model Train Meet in Camillus, New York. It's actually at a firehouse. We've never been there before, uh, so this is something new, but I picked up a flyer at the last train show we were at, and uh, I kind of put it on our calendar. I thought it might be fun to check it out, and uh, there is kind of a nice day. It's uh, cold out, snowy out, but it's the sun shining right now, so the traveling should be fine. So let's get going. My name is Jonathan, and I'm a caregiver for my wife, Lynn, who has a permanent brain injury. Things are a bit different now, but we're doing the best that we can. Join us as we experience the Lynn Life. So this will be something new. We've never been to this train show or, or train meet, as they're calling it. Um, but just going supports them. In this case, is being put on by the Central New York chapter of the National Railway Historical Society, and uh, there's uh, the admission fee contributes them. It's five dollars a person, and so just showing up helps them. And uh, I like the environment. Uh, Justin and I just started working on the railway again, our model rail railroad, um, and had a chance to work on it much this winter, uh, which is when I usually work on it. But I'm making a commitment to not only start now, but to keep working on it through the summer. So if we get a, a rainy day, it's a day I, I may be able to go up and do a little work on it. So that's my commitment for 2023. And uh, once I start working on it, I get inspired. So I've already started some things, and I'll give you some other updates uh, as the weeks go on on the railway. So uh, we'll see you at the train meet. Okay, well we have arrived. It's at a firehouse, and I think I enter up there somewhere. Quite a few cars here. This will be different. We'll see, uh, see what they got in there. Well, here we are. It's uh, not very big. It's in an upper room at the, uh, above the firehouse. And it's certainly the smallest train show I've been to, but that's not necessarily a bad thing. Uh, much more intimate than usual. Here I am uh, looking over some stuff. I like looking at bins, like little bins and really pawing through stuff. I, seem to find a lot of little detail parts and maybe some used things and you get some good deals on those stuff as well and uh, I liked it. Now I'm not a collector of O-scale Lionel trains uh, but I do enjoy looking at them especially this one. This is an old tin plate uh, it's, it's definitely restored this is an antique locomotive, or antique toy train, and I love looking at that stuff. Uh, this is the history of the hobby, and these old train sets are really cool to look at. And uh, I wish I had been running here. Uh, here's some other accessories, Lionel accessories. There was a lot of that in the show, but there are a lot of Lionel collectors. Now this vendor was interesting. I like these little LED signs, like that New York Central one. I was looking at that. And he also does laser cut um, furniture, like uh, park benches, um, picnic tables, things like that in, in uh, varying scales. They have a truck. Yep. 
Yeah. Come on, boy. It has a couple of It's brand new. Eight bucks. Well, it's been a great little show, and I've actually bought quite a few things. Uh, and I'm going to go through some of those things with you in a minute. I'm just moving over to get someone coming through with a garbage can. But uh, it doesn't take long to get through, but there's some definitely some quality vendors here. And uh, I bought more than I thought, and I'm going to go through some of that with you in a second. Now, if you've watched any of my other train videos that I've done, um, or at least videos where I've found the train shows, you'll know that I love to see kids at. They're the future of the hobby. And I love to see them excited watching trains like Thomas the Tank Engine or any of the other cars going around. They're just amazed at it, as I was when I was a kid. It's a, it's a lot of fun and it's a great hobby. Hey, well, we're walking out. Didn't didn't take that long, and uh, but uh, I tell you, there were some good good vendors there. I especially like it when I can paw through something. I like these little bins that I can paw through. If there's some uh, little detail parts and things like that, which I I was able to buy some of those, and um, I bought a. Uh, bought a bulldozer <laughs> I bought a bulldozer today for what I think it was 10 bucks wasn't it something like that Roughly. yeah and it was it's metal it's an actual metal and it's a kit it's an actual kit HO scale kit of an old 1940s bulldozer and I am going I haven't built it yet but I have a construction area of a building that's being built and things like that I think it'll be cool. Any little detail part like that really lends a lot of a lot of interest. You know, you got to create little details that people like to look at, and they and they they discover things and like, hey, look at that! I didn't notice that before. You know, those type things. I love that. So, I'll show when you get in the car. I'm going to show you what I got. I also got more uh, some more rolling stock too. I got I bought three. Uh, cars as well their kits as well uh, great deal <laughs> great deal and uh, I'm, I'm familiar with the brand and it's uh, normally would spend a, for what I spent for all three I would normally have to spend for one so that was a great deal okay let me go through what I got here I got a Justin just pointed out one of the vendors gave me a bag and it's a McDonald's bag <laughs> hope it's not used does it smell like grease? I don't think it is. Here's my, uh, this is 1940s D8 8R Dozer, HO scale, right? And uh, that is metal, and it will be, it'll end up being very detailed. It's made by uh, Roadmaster, not familiar with that brand. But, uh, 10 bucks, actually is less. Because this, uh, what I bought there, and I bought some of these uh, 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 bumpers too, for the end of a, like uh, you know in a yard things like that. Use a few of those. Uh, this would have come out to eighteen dollars. He says, "Give me 15 So I actually spent less than that for these. That was a great deal. I feel really good about that. And then I bought three uh, rail uh, uh, car kits. These are all. Uh, Proto 2000 series, and uh, these are these are good quality. Um, I'm, I'm familiar with them, and these are all kits. They come with the uh, uh, their trucks and the uh, um, I, I believe they, I got I got the uh, couplers as well, and uh, I was pretty happy with them. I got a couple New York Central box cars, and I got a hopper car. And they were uh, th he gave they were eight dollars a piece, but he gave me three for twenty. That's a deal. I'm gonna put everything in the McDonald's bag now. And Justin and I are gonna go to lunch somewhere, someplace we haven't 
been to before. There is a plaza with a whole bunch of restaurants in it, and uh, we'll pick one of those. And maybe we'll bring you with us. All right, we've picked our place. Buffalo Wild Wings, we've never eaten here before. Okay? Yeah. And good. Justin uh, likes wings. So that's what we're gonna give it a shot, and we'll, we'll give you a review. I'm sure there's been tons of reviews on Buffalo Wild Thing. Wild Wings. Right? Yeah, wild wings. Yeah. Well, I forgot to shoot our food when it first came out. So here are the remnants of what we ordered. Uh, we actually ordered, we both ordered two wing samplers, which consisted of six boneless wings and six traditional, and your choice of two sauces. Justin ordered honey barbecue and orange chicken, I believe, and I ordered something really special. All right, I'm back from our Buffalo Wild Wing experience. And let me tell you, if you go into Buffalo Wild Wings and try that, the Carolina Reaper. Now, I didn't realize, <laughs> Justin, Justin noticed, on the menu, in the order from the top down, the hottest are at the top. And uh, I didn't, I didn't catch that. Well, Carolina Reaper is the, the one at the very, very top. It's the hottest one they have. And uh, I got through three of them, three out of the six, and the other three are coming home with me. And the other six wings I ate were um, um, uh, jerk. They were jerk chicken, and they was were spicy too. But those weren't too bad. I, that was those are actually quite delicious, I thought. And uh, but those, the Carolina Reaper wings are like, oh my God, hot! But uh, I could eat them. I could have eaten all six, and uh, I feel fine now. You know it, uh, but you got to take a little breaks so in between. Them. <laughs> but Justin was saying, why did you take the hottest one? I'm like, uh, those were the hottest? <laughs> I didn't notice. I guess I wasn't paying attention. But it was a great time getting out, right, yep. and doing something today because we haven't been out in a while. And uh, Lynn is home with her aide, and she's doing fine. And uh, it's not that late. I like to get out in the morning. We have lunch, and then we go home. And I'm not cooking tonight either. Tonight's, uh, today is my day off from cooking and things like that. So I think we're gonna have subs or something like that tonight. Right, we talked about that. Yeah, something like that. Yeah, something like that. So it should be good. So, I think that's about it. And we'll see you next time on the, on the Lin Line.